you can tell I am not at home. I'm actually in New Brunswick, New Jersey at Rutgers University here with the bassoon professor, Dr. Chris Wickham. Now, a little bit of an insight, I do have to say that we are old friends. We actually played in the same youth orchestra <laughs> together. So this is a bit of a reunion for us. I am so happy to share with you guys some of the things that he works on as far as community outreach and engagement and bassoon ensembles. And he is even going to share free bassoon arrangements so you can create your own bassoon ensemble on your own. So let's go ahead and dig into this. Your bassoon ensemble is called Bacoustics. And tell us how a little bit about Bacoustics got started. I wanted to find a way to recruit and get kids excited about the bassoon, not only at the university level, but also out in the schools. So I began a bassoon ensemble that they created the name Acoustics. We all sat down and I'm like, all right guys, we're going to get out into the schools and we're going to get people excited. We have to have a name. So the students came up with, with Acoustics. We began doing uh, educational outreach concerts at all the local high schools and middle schools just to get kids excited about playing the bassoon. It's so important. Yeah, yeah. So not only were the kids excited about playing the bassoon here, they were excited to get out there. You have ensembles that are meeting each week to play. Tell us a bit, little bit about the music that you have for your ensembles and we are going to make this accessible to you. So we're excited. Tell us about the music. Right. So when I began Bacoustics, um, there's just not a whole lot of stuff out there for bassoon choir, for, you know, multiple bassoons. Um, so instead of just playing like quartets with more than one bassoonist on a part, um, I actually, a colleague of mine, Dr. Borgo, is our in-house arranger. So I would tell him, you know, hey, Tom, I need a, I need an arrangement by tomorrow. Can you do this? And, and he reluctantly will come up with something. <laughs> um, but what's great, so we've created our own library of bassoon people. Pieces. I usually try and select standard repertoire so students can learn excerpts. We have like a Tchaikovsky arrangement of all the stand. It's a mashup of Tchaik 4, Tchaik 6, Tchaik 5, like all the big licks. The soloists can learn how to approach these excerpts in a very friendly bassoon ensemble environment. Yes, and it's not just hours on end in a practice room on your own. I love that you get to engage while you do that. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you have multiple parts written, but not all parts need to be played, and this is part of your outreach and engagement. Absolutely. So if you're playing the parts that we're gonna link in the description box down below, this is great information. Which part can be omitted? So it's usually, depending on the arrangement, but it's usually the fifth bassoon part is sort of like a Suzuki part. So it's geared towards beginners or students who can play at any level but want to participate. So when we go out to the schools, we can have the, all the students play the bassoon five part and they're still part of, you know, a musical experience with lots of bassoonists and playing at a very high level. So it's really great. It gets these kids really, really excited about the bassoon and, and bassoonery in general, the art of bassoonery. Yeah, because you're part of a larger group. I love it. Yeah. Now, if you also want to be a little bit a part of Acoustics, there is a summer opportunity available to those of you that are 18 or over. This is really geared towards college age students as well as high level amateurs and you get to go to Tuscany. So tell us about how you can get involved in this program. We now do a Bassoonapalooza International in Sartiano, Italy as part of the Summer Music in Tuscany Festival. We partner up with Sebastian Stevenson, who is the principal bassoonist of the Danish Radio uh, Orchestra. And so he comes down for two days of master classes. We play large ensemble bassoon rep um, featuring, usually we do a piece that features Sebastian. So last year we did uh, the Andante and Rondo. Um, you should hear that. I, I think you're- I will link that in the description box down below. Yeah, it's amazing. So we do master classes and basically hang out with bassoonists for an entire week if you'd like or just the two days of the Bassoonapalooza. Yes, and I will link all information about this in the information box down below because the two-day event I believe is only $200. Correct. Um, of course, you have to pay for your hotel and flight, but $200 to hang out for two days or you could do a full week and that's right. only... It's only, well, if you want the hotel and a meal included, it's $1,400 or so just $1,000 for the tuition and you can stay and eat on on your own, which is really inexpensive. But I think it's a great deal to like hang out with some amazing bassoonists um, of all levels. Yes, enjoy making music on a global scale because we're all about global community. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Okay guys, I hope you will take part in uh, creating a bassoon ensemble wherever you have bassoonists. We will link to the music so that you guys can go ahead and get started. If you enjoyed the fact that we are linking to free music, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss a future video, be sure to click that subscribe button and we will. I will see you guys next time. Yeah. You will have to create <laughs> hey, that. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Thank you guys so much. Bye, guys.